Hey, welcome back once again. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, just another fence brought to you by uh, Strong Fencing and Gates. And uh, this one is an ebony, ebony black uh, fence. You can see this particular one is on a sloping property. So this is what we call sort of step top, step bottom. The bottom hasn't been cut. It's just been pretty much stepped. So um, as you can see, the, the overlap on the post is how much of a step it is per bay. So, you know, that's about 70 or 80 mils, millimeters. I'm not sure what it is in inches for all of you people that live in inch land. Uh, we did millimeters here, so you can see the top is uh, stepping consistently. And if you're installing one of these yourself, um, you want to get your two end posts in, get your top string line up, and just play around with your, your top string line height till you can, um, you know, and then go along and measure down and check the clearances all the way down the string line from the from the top string line down to the ground and for this one uh, obviously the sheet height is 1800 so uh, we just added that extra 100 on and we set our posts at about 1900 just a little bit over 1900 so I went down and I checked the clearances all the way down with the string line and I made sure that I had at least 1900 to ground uh, a little bit of digging out a little bit of sort of messing around um, also we've uh, we've done this little fence over the back here which is probably the more difficult one uh, because it actually dipped down at the back. Um, so the good thing about colour steel I've probably mentioned before is you can put these retaining boards in the bottom. So this is just 50mm uh, wide rough sawn timber and uh, that's necessary where you need to retain the garden uh, so that the soil doesn't uh, push down but also we wanted to maintain a straight height uh, from front to back so you can see as I'm going down here this whole entire fence is straight uh, from the front to the back so we kept the height literally we kept the height from the front all the way to the back surprisingly um, it just dropped down that little bit but we ended up back at ground level at the back there so you can see that I've set this height to the high side just in case they want to fill up this garden level uh, if I had to put it down lower uh, then the garden would have ended up being put onto the fence um, one of the things we always look out for is this internet connection you can see how this internet connection has been carefully moved off the fence and, and it will be reattached to the fence at a later date but you got to watch out for that because uh, it's quite expensive when you go through that it's a bit heartbreaking when that happens um, so yep that's all our rubbish for the job and uh, you can see we actually put a little piece of timber under this front one too just to maintain the step all the way down and um, just get my assistant to close the gate and um, this is the 880 wide gate it's got a fully welded frame on it 1800 high and um, these are sort of four mil thick aluminium posts so they're quite solid and we use the heavy duty hinges and this um, deluxe lock latch uh, it's quite a good little latching system that I've shown you before um, but it's got a self closing um, scenario these are the true close heavy duties uh, we didn't have black screws so we had to use these silver ones unfortunately uh, but this whole thing's pretty pretty secure we normally try and put the hinge, hinges up against the house because that's actually side fixed there so you're going to end up with uh, a really strong post and we always put a couple of bags in those so they're a lot stronger but uh, yeah that's what it looks like people uh, once again if you're uh, looking for a black colour steel fence make sure you hit us up on um, Facebook Strong Fencing and Gates or you can check us out on YouTube obviously if you're watching that now um, or the best place thing to do is just go to strongfencing.co.nz uh, We can supply and also we can do uh, in, uh, Supply and install if you want. Um, we do a little bit of traveling Around the central North Island if it was a big enough job. We might get lured To different places to do a fence But uh, yeah, if you want something like this hit us up. Have a great day strongfencing.co.nz